Welcome to today's book reading tutorial by Booklov Channel. Today we shall learn more about Manipuri, a world famous classical dance form from India. Manipuri. One of the most popular traditional dance forms in India is noted for Vaishnavism themes and dramatic renditions of R.A.S. Lila, dance dramas themed on Radha and Krishna's love. Shaktism, Shavism, and the Sylvan deities known as Umanglai who manifest during the Manipuri festival Lai Haroba are additional themes in this kind of art. This classical dance style originated in the northeastern Indian state of Manipur. With the aid of the local Gandharvs, Shiva and Parvati performed their mythical dance in the valleys of Manipur, which is where the Manipuri dance got its fabled start. The Lai Haroba festival, where a number of dances were performed, is where the dance genre first emerged. With the emergence of Vaishnavism in the 15th century, the dance gained popularity. At that point, Krishna became the primary subject of this dancing style. The majority of the time, women do it. Raja Bhagchandra of Manipur made an attempt to bring back Manipuri dancing in more recent times. The dance style was reintroduced when Rabindranth Tagore went to Santi Niketan and did so. Features of Manipuri The Manipuri dance is distinctive in that it emphasizes devotion rather than pleasure. Faces are obscured by a thin veil, and hand gestures and subtle foot movements are more important than face expressions. Although the dance incorporates both Tandeva and Lasya, the latter is the main subject. Manipuri dance is Kate Gorist as Tandeva, vigorous, sometimes linked with performances about the warrior savior gods Shiva, Shakti, or Krishna, or Lasya, delicate, usually with love stories of Radha and Krishna. The Tandeva dance emphasizes rhythm and movement and is a representation of the manly aspects of dancing. Sharp, vigorous movements that attempt to capture the essence of the underlying bhava set it apart. The Lasya components are depicted by soft, flowing movements that seem to blend into one another in a pretty blur without sharp edges. It symbolizes the artistically feminine facets of dance. Women dress in distinctive long skirts. The hand and knee movements are typically soft and smooth. The concert would not be complete without the pung, drum. The Nagabandhamadra, in which the body is connected through curves in the shape of eight, is a crucial position in Manipuri dance. R.A.S. Leela is a recurring motif in Manipuri dance performances, Radha Krishna love romance. The vast majority of the themes are covered by the Vaishnavism and Hinduism motif. Additional themes include Shavism, local deities, and Shaktism. In the Tandeva fashion, Krishna, Shakti, and Shiva are shown as warriors. The love stories between Radha and Krishna are essentially the emphasis of the Lasya style. Manipuri Three Styles of R.A.S. Leela Tal Razak, with the sound of clapping. Danda Razak, the dancers move in geometric patterns while the drums are beaten with two sticks. Mandal Razak, Krishna is surrounded by the gopis in the Mandal Razak, which has him as its heart. Razlila's Krishna Tandeva features a stunning Manipuri dance performance that features quick movements and acrobatic gestures. Flute, cartels, wood clappers, doll, and other instruments are used to accompany the music. Compositions by Jayadeva and Chandidas are widely used. Thangta and Sankirtana have also been influenced by Manipuri dance. Manipuri is a type of classical Indian dance that originated in northeastern India's picturesque and remote state of Manipur. Among the most well-known Manipuri performers are Guru Bhipin Singh, his pupil Dharshna Javari, and her sisters Nayana, Ranjana, Suvarna, Charu Mathur, and Devyani Chalia. Buklov recommends the following books. Manipuri, Dances of India by R.K. Singh Gajit Singh. Manipuri Dances A Panorama of Indian Culture by R.K. Dani Sana. Manipuri Dance, An Assessment on History and Presentation by Sridi Bando Padhey. Manipuri Dances La Siolangri by Leela Raudel. Please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye and happy reading.